Welcome back to our channel. I'm Brianna and today I'm going to be talking about the Eureka Lemon. Awesome. As a dwarf, right? Yes, this is a dwarf tree. I'm not recording it from the proper side because uh, it's uh, it has more leaves, but on this side where it's yeah. against the sun, you can really see all the fruit. All the fruit. And this guy is a tiny, this is probably a four foot, not even three foot tall tree. Yep. And look at this. You could fill buckets, buckets and buckets. Yeah. All right. And a few facts about this is actually that they have the heaviest fruit production in their spring and summer mm -hmm. production months. And they do have fewer thorns than other varieties, but as you can see over here, the thorns are bigger. So you have to be very careful when picking these. Yeah, because you're going to get uh, scratched and scratched picked. and poked, right? Mm -hmm. What's unique about the, the, the lime or lemon itself, not lime? Look at this it guy. actually has a very thick skin. It's a thick skin. It's thick Older. skin and it's huge. Huge, right? They're big, they're large, they taste like true lemon, they're very sour. Mm -hmm. um, something about this tree that it's one of the oldest trees that we have. It's about six years old, six to seven years old, and it's a dwarf. And we planted this guy, and the one lesson that we're learning from our early, I would say, growing and uh, getting into more uh, abundant, or not abundant, but probably uh, regular, uh, gardening fruit gardening here is that we were not patient and as a result of that we let all the first and the second year uh, fruits to remain on the tree and look at what we did and what that did to the branches this guy should be about six foot tall but now it's uh, two foot tall and four foot sideways not a bad thing because it's easy to, to pick stuff but uh, it's probably not the most uh, pleasing to the eye no but it's like anything else it's part of the family now we love it and unless there's a way to fix it we're gonna just love it for the rest of uh, the time but if you grow and you plan on planting one i recommend you thin out the fruit or actually get rid of all the fruit in the first couple of years until the tree gets more mature and it can hold the heavy load uh, bearing uh, because you luck i mean this is this is significant and it's heavy and if you water this is this is a heavy uh, lemon here but it's a beautiful does it smell yes it does it smells like lemonade it like a lucky. very very <laughs> faint lemonade all right what's uh if you if you get up and you show you can see new growth and that's fine yep. new growth here and you can see new growth on it you can see existing fruit you can also see new buds uh, you can see flowers and tiny baby uh baby uh to be uh, soon to be formed and to grow uh, lemons so uh, this one keeps on pumping until this, the fall and the spring so it doesn't stop um, so heavy producers you're gonna love it and if you love lemonade well this is your ticket here mm -hmm. um, we're filming and then we're also gonna pick a bunch of them off and we're gonna give it to some friends and family so we could uh, give this uh, heavy bearing uh, tree a little bit of a break because Look, we even have clusters of luck. One, two, three, and there's a fourth one down at the bottom. So, four, four lemons almost touching the ground, literally. So, there you go, that's a reality. If, uh, if, you, love, if you love to grow lemons, this is the one to grow. Mm -hmm. Do we grow any other varieties? Do you like this one? I mean, I don't know if you've tried the other one. So the other popular lemon that was... Uh, is actually a Meyer lemon. A Meyer lemon. We also grow two more Meyer lemons. Uh, again, dwarf uh, trees. Not as thick skinned. It's, uh, and probably a little bit of a sweeter. It's got a lot more uh, juice. Mm -hmm. But from a flavor perspective and profile, I do like the... Uh, Eureka variety a lot better. It really feels when you eat it, you eat it and you, it feels like a, like a true lemon. All right, if you're in San Diego or California or anywhere in, uh, in the areas where you can grow beautiful uh, lemon trees, you wanna share some insights and some other things, give us a buzz, leave us a note. Remember to like and subscribe and uh, happy fruit growing. Eat clean, eat green. Cheers. Bye. Bye.